Hi guys, I'm Dave, West Country Lad in West Sussex. Welcome to another video and today I'm in Bramber and I'm gonna take you around Bramber Castle. Right. As you can see, a little road up to Royal's Bramber Castle. Take you up here. Quite a nice sunny day now. A bit overcast this morning. I said cycling over here, I thought might be a bit miserable for recording. But parked up and the skies turned out to be pretty blue and sunny, so no complaints there. About time we had a bit of sunshine. So here we are coming up to the car park over there by the trees my faithful little bicycle I call it gallivant so, tend to gallivant around the countryside on it that's when I'm not cycling to work and back here we are we, is St Nicholas Church. This, this was built about the same time as Bramber Castle. This was uh, the castle church. And coming up here we have what remains of the gatehouse to Bramber Castle. Got a bit of a information board here. So you can pause it to read it properly if you want. But it was uh, founded in 1073 by William D. Burroughs. Just show you a bit of a moat. Goes all the way around. But yes, in 1073, William de Burroughs founded the castle. He was a Norman knight, came over following the Norman conquest. And given lands here, as well as lands in other parts of the country. And built the castle to be a definitive a defensive and administrative centre for the Bramber area. So just bring you up here a bit. Up ahead, up there's uh, the Mott before the castle was built. There would have been the Mott, where the Mott and Bailey Fortress would have been. Nothing left there much anymore. Alright, so let's take you for a walk around. Right then, let's see if I can get up to the top of this mop. If I slip and fall down, that'll be a bit of entertainment value. 
might not be the best way to come up. Slow and steady does it. It's either slow and steady or 250 pounds from you've been framed. made it as you can see I do have a bit of a slip nice dirty hand I'm currently at the top of the Mott where the Mott and Bailey fortress would have been like I said the Barose family would have put the Mott and Bailey fortress up first because it's pretty quick to put up. They wanted something quick to help defend the area whilst building the main part of the castle. The Barose family set the castle up round, like I said, round about the end of the 11th century. And they were here for a couple of centuries. They owned the castle for all that time apart from the brief period round about the beginning of the 13th century. Round about the beginning of the 13th century William Barose is the third or fourth lord. There's quite a few William Baroses. So anyway the William Barose who in charge at the start of the 13th century fell out of favour with King John the First. So King John temporarily confiscated his lands, including Bramber Castle, and imprisoned his wife and eldest son. He took them to Winter Castle, where he imprisoned them. During captivity, they starved to death. So, not nice. But like I said, eventually the Brose family sort of regained ownership of the castle. But then round about the middle of the 14th century it passed from them into the ownership of the Mowbray family who owned it for a while before it went out of their ownership. Now, in the 1650s during the Civil War a parliamentary garrison was stationed here in what remained of the castle. It was starting to fall into disrepair a bit then. But they were stationed here. There is a legend that St Nicholas Church, sort of adjacent to the castle, was used as a gun station, but no evidence to support that legend. But like I said nowadays, not really much left of it. So what I'll do now is get back down, hopefully safely, and show you a bit more. Not sure offhand what these rooms would have been. I could maybe find a floor plan or something. Be quite nice. Probably be a floor plan somewhere on the internet in one of the histories about the place. Ooh, sorry. As you can see, quite nice views out across the countryside to see for miles. And it's starting to spit a little bit now. That sunshine earlier didn't last too long. Just down there is, I know you can't really see it, is the moat area that goes all around. Right, let's take you back. 
through the big puddle. Well guys, that was Bramber Castle. Bit of a brief video, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. I know a few of you have hit the subscribe button since the last video. I appreciate that, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to do so if you want to. If you like this video, feel free to click the like. Alternatively, click the, click the dislike if you didn't like it. Feel free to comment. And like I said, any kind of interaction is always appreciated. And like I said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And look forward to seeing you again in the next video. In the meantime, take care. God bless and see you later.